Hello and welcome to Keeping Time with Plants, a video series brought to you by the U.S. Botanic Garden. My name is Mara and this video is for those who are in it for the long haul, for those that are committed to keeping a drawing practice for a month or longer. Um, maybe you will decide that during this pandemic that tree that is growing outside of your window is worth paying attention to. I'm trying to give you a way that you can reorient yourself to not just think about the people that are living in your neighborhood, but the plants too. I realize that a month is a really long time to commit to something, but I have three ways for you to organize your drawings and hopefully make this challenge a little bit more manageable. So first off, I like the idea of putting all of your notes and observations onto a single sheet of paper or a single surface. That way all of the elements can be seen in relation to one another. And you'll also feel, I think, a sense of accomplishment from uh, filling something out in a, in a full way but a single big blank sheet of paper can be pretty intimidating and that is where folding paper becomes your friend. This form is called an accordion book and it's made from a single long strip of paper that's folded back and forth like an accordion. I'm using thicker watercolor paper here which is why I'm scoring the paper first with a knife. That makes it easier to make the folds. The spacing between the folds will determine your page size, so it's important to make the spacing uniform if you want all of your pages to be the same size. I like this form since the folds help you to break the project down into smaller parts, and also because it lends itself to making a series or a sequence of drawings. One way to approach filling out an accordion book is to add to it each time uh, something significant happens to the plants that you're observing. That could be something flowering or forming fruit or leaves. And even though my garden was very small, just a couple of indoor planters with a wildflower mix that we grew from seed. I had enough diversity here to fill out this example with a series of watercolor and gouache illustrations showing just some of the blooms that opened during the last month. You might also want to focus your sequential drawings on just one plant. You can do that with an accordion book, or you can also organize those drawings on a single sheet of paper. In this example, I've focused my attention on this Coreopsis plant, and I've made a sequence of drawings that show the flower as it produced seeds. A month is a really nice amount of time to watch for some of these significant changes in a plant's life cycle. Forming seeds is certainly one of those things, and right now in the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of flowers are undergoing this process. I kept things pretty simple here, illustrating the process in black and white using pen. A final way to structure a month of drawing and observing is to complete a botanical illustration. A botanical illustration often shows the entire plant, along with some identifying features, things like the plant's reproductive structures, cones and flowers, and also its leaves or its root structure. This is a good way to really get to know a plant. So here I've illustrated clover. And I started this illustration mostly because I was interested in these fuzzy green structures and I love the unknown of not knowing what something is going to turn into. So I watched them for a month and they formed these clover flowers. So often I think that we are ignorant of the greater whole but able to identify the really showy parts of a plant. 
I think that many people might be able to identify an acorn or a rose, but they might not know that an acorn is the nut of an oak tree or that a rose hip is the fruit that develops from a rose flower. As you make your own botanical illustration, I challenge you to connect the showy parts of the plant to the whole plant. This is what botanical illustrators try to do when they make an illustration for science, and it's what you don't always get from just watching a plant for a week. Maybe a question to begin with as you work on the layout or the composition of your illustration is to ask, how can you show what emerges over the course of a month or longer? We would love to see what you find. And if you share your work online, please do so using the hashtag USBGArt. Thanks for joining me.